Pamplona, Spain, best known for the running of the bulls. But that's not why we're here today. We're here with Jaguar, and they chose this location to showcase the performance and capabilities of their all-new F-Type. If driving through the Pyrenees foothills of Spain isn't epic enough, we also got a chance to have some rare private time with Jaguar's Director of Design, Ian Callum, the visionary behind the newest line of Jaguar's iconic two-seater sports cars. We're here in Spain. We're looking at the new F-Type Jaguar car that uh, we're all extremely proud of, of course. It's the first two-seater sports car from Jaguar since the beautiful E-Type. No pressure, of course. So what we did, we set about designing a car uh, that first of all had great proportions and a certain amount of presence. First thing we do with any Jag is to get those proportions right before we even put any line to paper, any surfaces, and of course we develop the car around that little by little, piece by piece. A lot of people say you must have been influenced by the E-Type. Of course it's there, just behind me all the time, I'm thinking about it. We didn't want to copy the E-Type, the E-Type's a beautiful car, it has the same values as this car though, but because it's for the 21st century it looks quite different in so many ways. There are one or two cues that I have to say were perhaps influenced by the E-Type. There's a bonnet bulge down the middle there at the bonnet, and the haunches at the back that sculpt into the rear end, and then across the back you'll see these beautiful tail lamps, which I have to say we were greatly influenced by the E-Type tail lamps. It's not just about the details, it's about the big picture, the thing that excites you from 200 yards away. One of the nice features about the car is we have a line that emanates from the front of the car, it sweeps through the door and just disappears. It's got some real spontaneity about it. And then that grows up into the rear haunches of the car, which are very strong and very simple. And to actually develop a simple surface like that in a car is, is actually more complicated than something that has a lot of form to it. But uh, we were brave enough to do it and we pulled the surface right round to the back and it really does create a great view for the back end of the car. The interior, again, simple architecture. Wonderful, strong graphics coming around, encompassing the driver, as a cockpit should be. It really feels like you're sitting inside a sports car. The switches of the car are very tactile and very technical. That's very deliberate in that part because this is a sports car. It's a very mechanical object. Being a true sports car, the aero package is very important. But Ian didn't let the wind tunnel dictate his final design. We wanted to drop the back off in a sort of teardrop way. We wanted to give it a lovely elegance as it sweeps off the back of the car. It means that the trunk lid is actually quite low, and so we now have a deployable spoiler that comes up at 50 miles an hour to give the car all the aerodynamic needs for the stability the car has. I always say the back of a Jaguar has to be the best part of it because that's the part you will see most of. 